being able to utilize that and harness the actual power of a community because the community is especially on Solana is the utility. So being able to harness that and then actually build utility around that as we grow is going to be the, uh, the number one thing that we're striving for um, here. Having people be a part of a community that is growing and building is just as good, if not better, uh, for, you know, you know, for your mind or whatever it could be to actually grow with that asset and grow with that community over time and be a part of something that's much bigger than yourself. I think that's the whole point of what we do this for. Like it's a big aspect of it is being able to join a community and make, you know, starting from scratch, like you're building this, this empire, this, this thing that could be something bigger. And I think that's everyone. A lot of people don't even strive for that. It's more of a 24 hour pump and dump or a two day pump and dump. That's uh, we will, you'll see over time that we will continuously show up. And that is what everyone has underestimated when it came to Bitcoin on Ethereum time and time again, Shiba Inu, the government, the powers that be have underestimated the, the value of people just continuing to show up. The fact that people will still buy at lows and just keep showing up because they want to be a part of something and harnessing that and leveraging that in a meme and then in a community is not the easiest thing to do. But there's a lot of things that you can do as far as stepping stones to take place to get more and more higher up that ladder. I mean, I'm no fucking Andrew Tate, right? But with enough of you guys, we could see that value and we can reach that level and then our voices can really be heard. It just takes time, takes patience, and it takes value. Yeah, we're super excited. We've been waiting, honestly, probably <laughs> a long time. This is a long time coming for a lot of us. So we've, we've, we've seen launches come and go. So, um, yeah, we plan to make a statement and be a part of something that's uh unique inside the solana space we've like the, it reminds me a lot of the bsc um pump and dumps opportunities that were over there which were just as crazy uh, i think the only thing that was probably missing on bsc was likely a, a platform like pump.fun to actually launch off of that gives you a decentralized layout a decentralized order book that you're buying through that then it's kind of like a pre-sale almost then you're honestly then you're on to radium and you know, sky's the limit from there. So I guess we were listed on pump.fun for maybe 20, 30 minutes. Um, we got some good exposure there before we leaped out of the uh, the good old pump.fun scenario. Now it's just kind of like locking and loading and doing the essentials, getting the socials up on deck screen. Or, I mean, I didn't load anything up on pump.fun. I, I think I just maybe put uh, the actual toilet paper roll and that was it. There was no socials. There was no nothing. There was, it was just kind of a bland thing. <laughs> so the whole idea was just kind of like, launch it stealthily, get people in that will be able to hold the floor and then just continue building on top of that. So uh, there, like I said, there's always going to be trust involved with someone holding that much, of, that much of supply, but it's also makes it more pumpable. And the people that actually believed and trusted the process are the people that win. So at least in this circumstance, we're just not going through the motions, but we're, you know, taking the steps and the procedures that we've uh, utilized in the past to uh, continue pushing this, uh, this protocol. Yeah, I've got a question for you. Was um, I'm curious if uh, if there's any type of mechanics for people to like, how do you create this as a service to provide other people? Yep. So like a almost like a launch pad, right? So the one of the ideas that we did have or what we're thinking of is almost mimicking the uh, the pump dot fun opportunity, but then literally you know, do it off our, do it off our own site, do it off our own thing, and then be able to harness the community and like literally guide people through this exact process is likely where we'll end up. Um, because it's, it's, just, it's really hard to do anything else other than be like, Hey, we're a community. We're going to push this because there's, there's no expectations, right? So if you launch a meme coin that has no expectations, it's, it makes things just a little bit easier. It's more free flex. Like y'all don't expect me to do anything, but the community's pushing it. The community's doing a lot of it. I mean, there's things that I'm doing. Yeah, I can rattle off for 24 hours in a VC. Like that's a talent. But, you know, as far as actually providing utility or actually providing value to the community, I think that is something that is a unique perspective that we can add because a lot of people, you, you, it's kind of hard to put your finger on it as far as like having a community that's been experienced, especially on Solana, that's able to kind of constantly push tokens above a certain level. Um, but being able to support protocols that are launching is definitely going to be one of our key aspects as throughout this entire journey. Like if any of y'all are looking to launch an asset or to be a part of a protocol, I will gladly walk y'all through this, this process, launch a token, pair y'all's asset with my asset. And then we can all just kind of 
ride these floors together, especially with Solana still being, you know, it's probably going to go to a thousand dollars, right? Solana, I mean, it's, we can say 500, 600 easy during a nice bull run. So, I mean, we're, we're literally getting in at the, you know, these, this rebound of just Solana in general. I mean, if Solana does a 4X, our liquidity pool does a 4X. So a $40,000 liquidity pool now with Solana at $500 is a fucking $200,000 liquidity pool. So that's the type of stuff we're trying to break down and make a little bit easier for people to understand um, and why holding <laughs> over time just wins compared to trading in, uh, um, running around and chasing launches like uh, you do get lucky. So I guess, you know, but uh, it's usually once in a blue moon that you can land on an, an asset that's actually going to perform like it should in this type of market. So that's what I'm hoping to do, you know, kind of uh, all things aside, just do something that's a little bit more unique in the Solana and using Solana as our leverage into that, uh, into that next, uh, that next leg up. Yeah. So the, the question I was going to ask is, um, so when you launch these, I mean, when you set up the liquidity pairs, right? So, you know, when you launch on Pump Fund, you have the dev wallet. I was wondering how will that show up? Do you guys know? Like if you were to use the dev wallet for the liquidity pairs? Yep, we will. So yeah, the, it'll literally just be a transfer and then a liquidity pool made. So there's already been some liquidity pools made. And the, the when you make a liquidity pool on Solana, it just turns it into a single LP token. So the... Uh, when you make a liquidity pool pair, say you pair one daddy token with one of reloaded token. When you start, when you pair those together on Solana and all V2 contracts, they're, uh, they turn into a single token. So when you're viewing it, you have to look up the actual contract address itself. But I, uh, when you're looking at it, I'm actually bought out things that like uh, the Solana name service names. So it'll say like pulse chain and have like a little liquidity droplet. And then it'll say like Gnosis chain, a little liquidity droplet. So once I start spreading out that supply, the supply will be hosted by the name where it's going to be going. Would that be a good thing to do? Do you think like, because um, obviously when you launch a coin with the dev wallet, you just, it's basically burn, right? You just don't touch it. So yeah, yeah. Yep. So we, we it, right? well, we could burn it, but we're, we plan on going to, you know, not just Solana, but using some of that supply to actually go to Ethereum and some of that supply to actually go to Pulse chain. So we have yeah, to yeah, yeah. have a nice... Yeah, no, I yeah. know with your coin. I, I just mean like, um, so let's say I launched a coin now on Pump. Oh, Pump, no, right? yeah, yeah. Yeah, we would use your token to the buy and burn my token. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, okay. I think I follow. Correct. So it'll sit on top and then it would literally, we could set it up to either buy and burn or just set a, set a pair up and then just burn that pair. And then it's just burnt forever. Nice. Sky's the limit once you launch. Yeah, absolutely, man. Appreciate mm -hmm. the question, dude. Okay, cool. But we, yeah, we'll be walking through it in the VC and the Telegram and, you know, helping people out with all that. Uh, and it could be a lot to take in or it could be overwhelming for some people to be like, what the fuck are they talking about? I guarantee you, you want to learn about this, though. So um, yeah, <laughs> if it's over your head and it, yeah, if it's over your head right now, I can uh, over time. Believe me, we uh, we talk about this constantly and daily inside the, the Telegram chat that I have. So it's just, uh, yeah, it's another step. It's just another process. And uh yeah, you can look up Hart's Law. So if you go look at Google Hart's Law, it'll uh, it'll kind of explain the, some of the utility behind being able to actually pair assets together. Um, like people that got in super early to like Ethereum and Bitcoin, like the largest largest liquidity pool pair that exists is Bitcoin and Ethereum. So the reason Ethereum and Bitcoin move together is because they're traded in a large pair together. So the fact that Bitcoin and Ethereum were like likely the first two assets to ever trade against each other, they go up and down with each other as well. So they're highly correlated to each other in their movement, which is why we always see Bitcoin jump dump 3% and then Ethereum's going to dump a little bit more, like 8%, 9%. Why? Because Ethereum is lighter. It doesn't have as much liquidity as Bitcoin. 